Hey guys, what's up? I'm going to teach you on how to never be scammed on RuneScape again. Now, it works in two steps. There's only two steps to this. Number one, you got to look at what the person is saying. All right. You got to look at their scam lines. If it sounds too good to be true, it is too good to be true. All right. Like, for example, the double money scam. Some of these people will sit there and say doubling money 100k minimum you know or they might just sit there and say doubling money i mean it doesn't really sound too much good to be true but a lot of people still get scammed by it i mean as soon as you give them a lot of fucking money they accept they log out they come back within a couple hours and they're back to the same exact scam, you know. And I wonder how these scammers still make a lot of money by doubling money, you know, by scamming people, making these people think that they're going to double their money. You also got the trust game scam. It works in... Draining the person's bank. Yes, it works to drain the person's bank. Like, for example, let's say I'm the scammer. And I see someone with items that are worth a lot of fucking money. Let's say I tell them this. Hey, I'll give you billions of GP if you trade that over here, you know? And that usually involves you giving them the your GP, your valuable items that you have on you. And then after you accept the trade and all, he'll tell you to go to your bank and grab more items and trade them back. And then once you do that, boom, he logs out. Your items are gone. Your bank is drained. You have no money. You have none of your valuable armors you have to start over again you know and trust me a lot of people get scammed by the trust game more people get scammed by the trust game than the money doubling scam so you really got to understand and how to avoid that scam is to walk away don't trade them anything walk away from the scammer and sometimes they'll beg you to come back. They'll beg you to come back saying, hey, it's not a scam. This is not a scam, you. Come on back. Come on back. I'm actually going to give you, you know, a lot of fucking money. And there's sometimes where they'll give you the money just to butter you up. Like, for example, they'll give you about $2 million just to butter you up. You know? And to convince you to trade them all your items and GP. But if they give you the money, you keep the money because it was given to you. And they might accuse you of scamming them, but they're actually trying to butter you up to scam you. You know? And then you got luring. Luring works in a simple way. They try to lure you into the wilderness to kill you for the items you have on you. All right. Now, a lot more people get lured, you know. A lot more people fall for that scam than any other. I don't even know how. Usually works like this. You'll you'll either meet two people or three people, you know, or it might be one person logged on many accounts. You know, with one account, they might tell you, "Hey, uh, my friend needs your help. We're trying to lure this guy. You know, we're trying to convince this guy to go into the wilderness with his valuables. I need you to come with us for a second. Or join this clan chat, you know. Join this clan chat. And they'll talk to you in the clan chat. And they'll tell you how they're going to get this guy with his uh, Ellie. Or with, his spirit, with any other spirit shield he has. Or... Any other valuable armors he has, you know? 
and they say that they're going to split it with you but as soon as you go into the wilderness they're not actually killing the guy sometimes the guy that they're supposed to lure is not there you know most of the time there's either a clan waiting for you or some guy with ancient magics waiting for you or some guy with dragon claws that's going to rush you for your full hp and take your valuable items right from under you you know and the best way to avoid this scam is to ignore these people ignore them entirely report them report any scammer you run into no matter if it's a trust game scammer a dublin money scammer or a uh a lure you know report them now i don't know if jagex does anything about these scammers but if you report them most likely they have scammed a lot more people in the past and gotten reported by these players so if they have been reported a lot maybe one more report would get jagex's attention on these scammers and they'll be banned you know So yeah, that's how you never get scammed ever again. All right. And hopefully, if you are new to the game and you watch this video, this video helps you a lot, you know. I don't want to see people getting scammed for their milks. These scammers... They don't put any effort into the game. And people need to know that. They don't put any effort to the game. You know, they make millions upon millions an hour. <laughs> you know, and it really depends on how many people believe the scammer. You know, there's been times when I tried to let this person know that this guy was a scammer. And the scammer would be like, oh, no, 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 this is not, no, he's lying. And the person usually believes the scammer over me. I am a experienced player, okay? I know when I see a scam, all right? So, yeah. Anyways, guys, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you got anything for me, leave a comment. And you want to see more, subscribe. If you drink too much sweet tea, you might get scammed by the XYG Dipper. Actually, no. I don't scam. At all. Uh, me, I try my best. I put effort into the game. You know, I don't try to, you know, come up with some effortless way to make money. Alright, anyways, guys, bye.